Way to pump yourself up in the morning, right? Works for me. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Swan River, Manitoba, up in Canada. This is Western Manitoba. We're about to cross into Saskatchewan. We're going to Carlisle, Saskatchewan. We got our next drop there and it's about four hours away, so let's get going. I've already delivered here. And we sent in all of our messages. We've done our due diligence. Another happy customer. Let's go turn our lights on, put it in drive, release the brakes. You guys ready for this? Oh, don't forget the shades. Whoa. All right. We're going to go stop at Timmy's first. Because one does not start one's day without stopping at Timmy's. Man, I need to get washer fluid too. Someone stole a jug of washer fluid out of my cubby hole at work. Meters. Turn left on. More than woods and water RTE. Highway 10. I left my truck in the yard, I had to get this window replaced, right? I came back and someone stole all my washer fluid that I had under my bunk. I paid for that myself too, that was mine. Someone took it. Probably assumed that it was the company's, right? Or whatever, but nope, that was my personal juice. I hadn't claimed it or anything. I wasn't gonna ask for my money for that, but maybe I should have because now it's gone. Now I gotta go buy more. I'm gonna claim this stuff. And would you look at this? My first trip after getting my window fixed, we're here in Saskatchewan and they're putting gravel on the highways again. This is garbage. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. Now they want me to stop here. This is a two lane road this time instead of a four lane. And they got little signs along the side of the road saying, oh, be careful, slow down. Everybody be nice, the honor system. Don't throw rocks, save your windshield. Why do they do this? It's not these construction people's fault. They're just the lowest bid, you know? The province took the lowest bid and here we are. They, well, I guess it is partly their responsibility, but the province hired them. Hired them to do a cheap job where vehicles get damaged, windows get shattered, but they don't care. It's not like you can chase after them and sue them or anything. In America, maybe you could, not here. Right, they're letting me past. So this is even worse when they do this on a two-lane highway because you have no choice but to pass the oncoming traffic, right? And just hope and trust that they're gonna slow down. But I can pretty much guarantee you they're not gonna slow down. So now you got rocks flying at your truck at twice the speed, right? Straight at you. Like this is a highway, this is Highway 49 in Saskatchewan. This is Eastern Saskatchewan coming from Swan River, Manitoba. And they've got this here. This section they're at least controlling the traffic. I guess because this is really, really fresh gravel. But as soon as they finish this, they'll move on to the next section and leave this section here just like this and just put little signs up saying, watch out for rocks. You might die, watch out. The province is too cheap to pay us to do it the good way. See, that was the new gravel. Now look, up ahead here, there'll still be gravel on the highway. So for how long? It could be 10 miles, it could be 30 miles. So the speed limit sign on the right here says 100 kilometers an hour again, that's 60 miles an hour. And it says work area ends. Okay, does that mean that you're just done laying down the gravel or does that mean that there's no more loose gravel here? Because I still see loose gravel right here. 
and a whole bunch up ahead. This is loose gravel right here. Don't want to spit it up at this van. Okay. Yeah, there's all this loose gravel up ahead here. Okay. I know you can tell how frustrated I am, but I'm sure you can understand because of what happened my last trip. I don't want to get a window smashed out my first day back. Look at this, all gravel, all gravel. And they put the speed limit up to 100 kilometers an hour here. So you know people will be flying past me. I'm doing about 60 right now, which is uh, 40 miles an hour. But these cars behind me are gonna pass me any time now because apparently the law says that they can. And I don't want my window smashed again. Somebody email the representative for this area in Saskatchewan and show them this. And show them what happened to my windshield or my window, my driver window, a week ago. Very irresponsible in my mind. So anyways, with that behind us, I think we might be past it now. Let's talk about something more uplifting. It's raining, that means the grass is gonna grow, and that means I can mow my lawn when I get home. That's exciting. Like this is freaky. A big truck coming towards me with all this gravel on the highway. Uh, oh man. That's freaky. You just expect a rock to come flying at your face. Would you have believed it if I didn't show you? Hills of Saskatchewan. Look at this. We gotta actually be careful on the decline here that we don't uh, go a little fast. Look at this, gravity pulling us down in Saskatchewan. And you thought it was flat. We're here on the western, nope, sorry, we're here on the eastern edge of Saskatchewan. Uh, I don't know what town is nearby, but beautiful area though, eh? Look at this. I think the last time I went through here was winter time, so you don't really see the beauty of it in winter as much. Everything's sort of we're dead and waiting for summer, but now that everything's green. Wow. Saskatchewan, you're full of surprises. This is like a valley, Whitewood in 20 kilometers. So we're 20 kilometers north of Whitewood on Highway 9. Oh, nice. Any of you live around here? Just talked to them and they said, come on down, we'll receive you. 
And my next delivery is in, uh, well, this one's in Emerald Park, Saskatchewan, which is just outside of Regina. And uh, my next delivery is in Regina, and that uh, receiver is open until 9, so I'll get two more done today. And then we head down to Assiniboia, Saskatchewan. And there we'll probably have to wait till the morning to deliver. So I can catch up on some videos today or something. Read my book. There's always something to do. But we'll probably get there five minutes. It'll probably be this evening. It probably won't be too much extra time. I'll probably have to go to bed. If we want to get up early tomorrow, we have another uh, six drops on this trailer yet. We'll be ending off in High Prairie, Alberta. It's northwest of Edmonton. It turned into quite a beautiful day, though. It was kind of rainy in the morning. So my next customer is open until 9 p.m. However, their receivers go home at 5 p.m. So we gotta wait until tomorrow because it's 5.30. Deliver around 8 a.m. tomorrow or sometime around then. Until then, we're gonna go to this Husky truck stop here. I'm guessing not as many people go here now that the bypass takes everybody around Regina. And uh, this truck stop is now inside that perimeter, so not many Approach trucks would go past here. 100 meters on the right side. But us truckers are creatures of habit, so I wouldn't be surprised if this place was still packed. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. Husky car, truck stop. Yeah, it's still pretty full. Kind of figured. <laughs> You're not supposed to be coming out the truck side here. Why are you giving me the finger? What did I do? Why did she give me the finger? Let's see if we can find a nice spot to park back here. I usually go to this back corner. It seems to be the quietest area of the parking lot far away from angry Karens giving people the finger for no apparent reason. There we go, right beside this guy. That'll be good. You know, if she would have at least rolled her window down and yelled something at me, maybe I would have understood what she was so mad about. I was literally just entering the truck entrance driveway and she cut in between all the trucks. But you know, that, that, I think that's the main problem. I'm a truck. I am a big, slow-moving thing in her way, and she is very, very upset. She just talked to the manager in Husky, and now she's got to deal with these big, slow-moving objects out in the parking lot, and she just wants to go out and have ten beers. But I'm in her way. I understand. I understand. I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know. What did I do wrong there in the comment section? I'm just gonna tell the world that I am done for the day. My logs are complete. We are, one second, wait for it. It's a little slow. Officially, Off duty. What do you think of that, Diesel? What do you think of that? Very nice, man. Very much nicer than that lady. She wasn't very nice. No. She wasn't. Karen's are always angry. I bet you her name was Karen. I bet you anything her name was Karen. But anyway. We'll let that roll off our backs. No harm, no foul. Proceed to the highlighted route. We are 10 kilometers or about uh, six miles from our delivery where we gotta be in 14 hours. Oh, you guys are all dirty. Oh, you guys are all dirty. What a bunch of dirty people you are. Have a bath now and then, jeez. There you go, look at that. Spotless. Or maybe you just gotta clean your glasses. I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at my uh, my routes for tomorrow. 
because I was hoping to get this one done today. Didn't happen. Life happens, whatever. Okay, so uh, after we deliver here in the morning, we drive 110 miles down to Assiniboia, Saskatchewan, drop some stuff off there. Then we drive 123 miles to Swift Current, Saskatchewan, drop some stuff off there. Then we drive 293 miles to Wainwright, Alberta. I should be able to get those all done tomorrow. Which would leave us uh, with three left. 112 miles to Wetaskiwin. Maybe we'll get that done tomorrow. Maybe. And then the next day, I guess, would be Edmonton and High Prairie. Edmonton's 43 miles and from Wetaskiwin. And then we go 228 miles to High Prairie, Alberta. And then we're done. It's a 1,600 mile trip. I haven't heard any rumors of what I'll be doing after that yet, so your guess is as good as mine. I'm hoping it's going to be something with some good miles attached to it. Whole bunch of shiny pennies, right, Diesel? Maybe even a nickel, man. Maybe even a woonie. No. No freight has loonies attached to him anymore, Diesel. Uh -uh. That was before our time. So thanks for joining us today, everybody. Tomorrow is another day. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more done tomorrow than we got done today. Well, we'll just see what happens. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.